hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. blood and righteousness I dare not trust the sweetest frame but wholly trust in Jesus name Christ the So, Igati Ministry started in 2009. Uh, my wife and I worked since 1996. I started working in the northeast corner of Guatemala City, known as Zone 18. When uh, Claudia and I got married in 2000, she started working with me in that area. In 2009, uh, after 13 years of working in the area, we, we'd seen a lot of lives be changed. But what happened was these individual lives got changed in that family because of this extreme poverty in that area, had to move out. Now one thing you need to see and understand is the situation that a lot of these families are in. These families are in extreme poverty. They're extreme poverty financially, extreme poverty emotionally, extreme poverty uh, spiritually. So a lot of these families, the average family has uh, seven kids. They're, they're made up of a mom with an average of seven kids. And usually there's three to four fathers involved. Uh, in making the kids, but not involved in the actual family anymore. So it's a single mom raising seven kids in a tin shack, usually uh, 15 to 20 by 15 to 20 feet, small area. And these kids many times, some kids don't even have a birth certificate, so they can't get a driver's license, a job, get an education. Some kids are only able to get a, a lower elementary education, third or fourth grade. Some kids uh, do make it to middle school, but once they get to middle school, there's no high school in the area, so they have no option for a better future. And so 
as we saw these families in these situations, uh, living in these neighborhoods of extreme violence, extreme gang influence, drugs, uh, sexual violence, abuse, uh, emotional and physical mistreatment of these kids, we saw a need to help raise up the men in the community. Uh, many times these families, as I mentioned before, do not have a man in the, in the household. There's a, not a male role model. And so if we can reach the boys before they join the gangs, which most of these boys will join a gang by the age of 14. Once they join a gang, their life expectancy drops to 24 years of age, at which point they'll either be dead from violence, dead from drug overdose, dying of a terminal illness like AIDS, or sitting in a prison cell with a 900, a 200, a 300 year prison sentence that they'll never get out of. And so in those short years of, of uh, gang life, they will sexually abuse three girls, father six kids out of wedlock, and murder on average 10 people. But if we can reach these boys before they join a gang and help them find identity in Christ, help them have a reason for living and a reason for a better future, we can help them become the men they're supposed to be, the husbands that love their wives, the fathers that stay at home, and the community leaders that transform the community from the inside out. So we're trying to impact a change within the community, focusing primarily on the boys and on what we see their greatest potential in Christ being, and that is becoming the men they're supposed to be, the spiritual leaders we as men have been called to be over our families, over our, over our community, and over our nation. And that's what Engadi wants to do, is raise up boys, as Isaiah 61 says, so that boys can become oaks of righteousness and be the ones that transform Guatemala from the inside out. And that's what Claudia and I have been working for for the last eight years, and we'll continue to work for until God tells us differently. So thank you for investing and being a part of God's Ministries and coming down and doing what it takes to expand God's kingdom here in the world. God bless.